In this McGregor Roundup, we're going to be talking about the brand new Falcon 9 booster and its testing that's being performed. We'll also talk about this awesome capture of a Super Draco test that we got. And longer test profiles on the tripod stand. All this coming up. Stay tuned. So let's get started by watching the two cranes lift the brand new Falcon 9 booster number 1080 onto the vertical test stand. Here's an alternate view of the Falcon 9 booster on the test stand with one of the SpaceX hangers in the frame. Here's a nice zoomed in shot of that shiny new white booster. On the night of March 10th, this Falcon 9 booster came to life as propellant is loaded into the tanks for the first time. A cryogenic test is one of the first tests that need to be performed before a static fire. During this test, you'll also be able to notice the cables will tighten as they're applying pressure down on the booster to simulate strain on the booster as if it was launching into space. Let's watch this time lapse as you'll be able to see the cables tighten and loosen right after the venting stops at the top of the booster. Stop to watch for the cables for the second time. Do that. We have no official statement from SpaceX, but it appears that this was a successful cryogenic test that was performed. Next, we'll look for a static fire test. So on March 14th, we noticed that the boosters start to get frosty again as they load propellants in for a possible static test fire. This would be the next step after a successful cryogenic test. So let's slow down this time lapse and watch and wait for the nine Merlin engines to fire up. And here we go. Hang on. That's just a big vent. There was no static fire. This was most likely due to an abort. As it gets later into the evening, we watch the frost line fade away as the Falcon 9 is being detanked. On March 15th, the booster gets frosty again as we await for a second attempt of a static test fire. Let's watch. Wait, that was only like 9 seconds. Must have been another report. And what do we have here? Another frosty booster on March 18th. Let's see if third time is the charm for a static fire. Listen around the 45 second mark as you can hear the engines throttle down similar to what they do during max Q.
listen for the throttle up around 60 seconds. Now that looked like a successful static fire duration of 78 seconds. Next let's talk about the concrete test pad that Gary spotted at the end of last year. This concrete pad was lifted onto the foundation and blasted by a Raptor engine on February 7th. As of March 18th, it appears that another concrete pad is sitting off to the side waiting for a test. So it'll be exciting to wait and watch for that one. And here's the video of that Raptor versus concrete test. Just watch. On March 18th, we spotted the South Bay doors open at the Super Draco stand. This stand normally sets pretty quiet, but every now and then on the live stream we'll hear a 10 second burst and for the first time we've been able to capture decent video of a test from this test stand. This is looking at the back side of the Super Draco stand. On March 20th we captured a Super Draco being tested and throttling. Let's watch this test including a close up that SpaceX published 8 years ago. On March 14th, SpaceX preps a stage 2 for a static test fire. This static test fire was so mission critical that this is one of the latest tests that we have seen with the McGregor live cameras. Check out these tripod tests for March 16th and 21st. Both of these have the same 139 second test profile. During this test, watch them throttle the Raptor engine. As the mock demons get stretched out, they're throttling up, and as they stretch back in, they're throttling it back down. Thank you for watching this McGregor update. This is Adam Sucker for NASA Spaceflight, and I will catch y'all later.